Hello, YouTube. Uh, this is Backwoods Uncle Bub, and we're back. And I am at uh, Point Park in Soddy Daisy, Tennessee. It's kind of windy today. I was going to do some fishing, but uh, the pollen's been so high, uh, it's kind of the water's kind of nasty. So uh, there's a couple of clear spots that I could probably cast a line, and uh, I may, may keep my hand at it here in a little bit. But uh, right now, let's get a curl going. Uh, I'm going to just feather stick some of these up real quick. Rocking my um, free bushcraft knife here. Um, it's not the greatest. In fact, I believe it was a um, carving knife from a kitchen kit at one time. I'm not sure there's no markings or anything like that. It was, um, I believe it to be high carbon steel though because it was pretty rusty when I got it for free at my sister's yard sale, in fact. Um, I, don't know. I don't know if you can see that. It's, um, of course it's not clean by any fashion. All the junk here is glue because, uh, well, is a free knife and it's not deer season yet and I don't have any leather so I'm rocking the uh, awesome duct tape and cardboard sheath here voila very awesome anyway it's just a temporary thing until I can get a, a real sheath going so um oh yeah uh, the back here was pretty round when I uh, got it so I filed it flat so um, it can uh, spark the fire still I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, it's throwing them out there so uh, it works I've used it several times and uh, yeah my free bushcraft knife it is approximately an eighth of an inch thick and oh about eight nine inches long with the blade about I'd say about five I'll uh, have to get the tape measure out here later give you some definites on it but um it's a uh, it keeps an edge nicely it stays sharp and I mean I put it through the tests I've done the tent peg the feather stick you know the this the standard bushcraft test the batoning and uh, it holds up nice keeps an edge and is a uh, I don't know if you can see that or not steel razor shaving sharp <laughs> for the price you can't beat it um, all you guys out there that insist on having the latest and greatest most expensive stuff that's great I mean if you can afford it go for it but um, there are cheaper alternatives uh, like I said I believe this to be just a a, a serving knife um, you know it might be used for roast or whatnot it's uh, got the brass pins <laughs> don't know the make don't know the model there's nothing like that on it uh, if there was it was probably acid etched at one time and when I took the rust and the patina off of it you know it probably came with it but like I said you don't have to go expensive to uh, to enjoy the wilderness Daddy, I got the hobo stove lit and it's burning nicely and uh, I haven't set the rest of the island on fire yet all right well, I didn't find a tape measure, but I did find this uh, fabric ruler I usually keep in my pack over there. Uh, you know, for measuring tracks and whatnot. Oh, never know when you might need a good measurement on something. It's always nice to have some sort of form of measuring around. Okay, let's see here. From looks like it is about yeah we're almost nine inches there like I'd said the uh, 
the hilt is roughly four, four and a quarter. And the blade is, oh, I don't have a tripod here, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm just starting out on this YouTube thing and haven't really got everything I need. Uh, let's see here. It's roughly five, five and a quarter, maybe five and an eighth inches. Can do it from the back here. Probably give a bit better. Yeah, about five and an eighth. All right. Uh, I don't know what that is in millimeters or centimeters or anything like that. Uh, I live in the U.S., like I said, uh, Tennessee. And um, we haven't gone to the metric system. <laughs> we're still, uh, well, we're backwoods still, I guess. Um, yeah, so we're still dealing on empiricals, and that's, that's what I know. All right. I forgot the blade. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's kind of hard to do this. Just viewfinder here. Starting out at the one inch mark. It is an eighth of an inch. Just like I'd guess. It is a it is full tang. So you know like I said, uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but the price was right, and uh, so far it's taken a beating and kept on ticking. I've been using this knife for, oh, I guess almost a year, maybe a little over a year. It's uh, considered an EDC. Uh, it's on me pretty much from the moment I wake up to the moment I take my belt off and uh, get ready for bed.